digging that down. Get rid of that eventually, but I think I'll stay on this level while you're here, and then we can just search for Ryan, uh, Ryan up here. Alrighty. I've been. Uh, Let's see. I went to a, you know created a test world mm -hmm. to test the different types of mob traps for dropping stuff. Sure. And yeah, it's completely random that now the fall damage. Um, you can drop loads of them from 23 blocks height. Some will survive, some won't. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no, there's no um, quantifying it. it to... No. Hey, hang on, I lost my sound. Oh, just turn it down. That's all. I can't remember, does the mine skill make you faster at mining blocks as well? Um, not that I've read anywhere. Well, I seem to be breaking them very quick, even with a stone pickaxe. Mm hmm. Yeah, I haven't read anywhere that it does that. Hmm. Um, let me make some, a couple of torches right quick. There we go. All right. So if it does, it's an undocumented feature, you know. Yeah. And I still can't get used to that tool thing of a tool breaking and another one not appearing in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be really nice to get back to doing this, just this as well. Mm. Endlessly mining for no real, you know, net game. Mm -hmm. Well, it is a game, but... But yeah, endless mindless mining. Yeah. It's always fun. <laughs> it's relaxing. Oh yeah. Especially, you know, I'm lucky enough to have two monitors so I just stick a video on the other monitor and watch that while I'm just puttering away here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've tried to do that in the past, but it just, because I, on the the TV, I'll, it's you know, big enough I can have a, uh, I can minimize or reduce the size of the, the Minecraft here. Yeah. And, uh, can get a video going in another window, but yeah, even then it's like I, I find my attention span gets really um, taxed. I'm either abs get absorbed into the video and realize I haven't mined in the last five minutes, or I'm mining and realize that I've restarted the video four times because I can't. <laughs> Not paying any attention to it. Yeah. Uh, mining skill 285. But this is basically the exact same thing as I was still doing in the <clears throat> in the Skylands. It's just cutting mm -hmm. it out, you know, little bit chunk by little chunk. And I was still considering taking down the hive and rebuilding the, the mob trap here at the hive, thinking, well. You know, it's, it, everything's here, but it would be nice to get like a completely up to date base, one that's got the extra stuff, you know, the hopper fed mm -hmm. collections and things. <clears throat> Even though there's no need for me to collect things like read anymore or anything, but that's not the point of Minecraft, is it? <laughs> no. Talked about that before. The point is, he who dies with the chest, most chest full of stuff, wins. That's it. Yeah. I found a new Minecrafter. Um, I was watching last night one, one mm -hmm. I'd never seen before, but obviously he's been around for a while or something from the looks of it. Called Denim. Um, he's called. Um, don't know whether he's French or not or what he is. Mm -hmm. um, but he's one of those annoying people that seems to not know what he's going to do so start placing blocks down and suddenly he's got this beautiful tower and uh, uh, one of wonderful those people. Yeah, yeah one of those 
uh, bad enough being related to one, I'm not going to watch them. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it, exactly. <clears throat> Man, I'm sitting here looking, it's like, dang, don't even have an iron block on me. I've forgotten about it. Completely yeah. Forgotten. Yeah. Wow, whenever I left the, the cave and all that, I didn't come with nearly anything I'm used to. Didn't bring <laughs> torches, didn't bring my iron block. Totally forgotten about that. I mean, I hadn't forgotten about it at some level, because I still always repair the swords in the, mm -hmm. the XP farm, but here, mine, today I've been through loads and loads of stone picks and never once thought about repairing any of them. Well, I'm full anyway, so I'm going to have to head back up in a minute, and uh, I'll bring one down with me. <coughs> yeah, because mine was reaching the red here and just about break. Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow! It never used to do that. Yeah, they never had those before. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> How do you do your super breaker? Let me try it. Right click. Wow. Oh, it's a chance to pick. Your super breaker lasts chances. a long time. Yeah, the, the pick is glowing, enchanted. Wow. <laughs> So it's, it goes green when you set when it's setting off and red when it stops. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So that's what the uh, firework effect looks like close up. Must be, yeah. Because that's the, the the noise it gave too was the firework noise. Right, I'll have to take all this back up to the hive because my inventory is full. Yep. I'm not full, but we're getting there. Wow. Surprise, no quick corridors can appear, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I work at a hospital and I swear they are constantly remodeling the place just for busy work to keep the maintenance crew happy. It's like every other day you go in there at least and you'll find there's it's like there used to be a hallway here and there's a row of doors and rooms and it's be like there used to be rooms over here and it's a hallway now and they're constantly shuffling back and forth <clears throat> yeah we just had a thing it's like our uh, labor and delivery part department labor and delivery and uh, the the uh, family care they uh, closed down they were on the third floor they built a brand new department. When we built the new tower at the ER, they built a brand new floor for L&D and all that kind of stuff. Closed down the L&D floor, the family care floor. Um, turned it into like an overflow or something like that. And then about four months ago, they took that floor that used to be um, L&D yeah. Then they. Let's see which one's the iron. Let me shut up for a second. I don't remember what I'm doing. There we go. Iron's the bottom one. Yep. <laughs> so they took that floor that used to be L and D. They basically turned you know where the corridor used to be is now a <clears throat> a uh, bunch of rooms. And then they moved a new like mini L and D department all the way across into an old section on the same floor just the opposite hallway and it's like what are y'all doing it just does not make any sense yeah That's I think they must get some sort of budget for um, hospital maintenance or whatever not main yeah and then they have to use it up and say oh hang we've got not used up this much of the budget that must Let's be what this. it is yeah because mm. they're constantly doing that kind of crap it's like 
there'll there'll be this this you know that's hallways and stuff hallways and rooms like this imagine this right here you've got this hallway and right over here you've got the storeroom and in yeah. six months you decide oh you run a hallway you change the hallway you move it over that way 10 blocks and run a hallway straight down through there and then turn all this into storerooms and then six months later you reverse it and you put the hallway back here and put the storerooms back over there it's like <laughs> yeah. that is literally what happens in that hospital it's like why Drives you crazy. Yeah, it is a lot of make work, and then they can't fund certain things. Yet they've got six thousand dollars to to do a little mm. office up or something. Yeah. Shoot, breaker is refreshed. Buzz off, shorty. <laughs> he does a good job now because you don't often come in and see them inside his his place anymore, which <laughs> is definitely a slime chunk, so they can spawn in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Might have to end up tracking down each slime chunk and... Uh, which is what I was trying to do anyway, and uh, mm -hmm. putting a golem in each one. Okay. <laughs> mm What's that? Um, throw a couple pieces of cobblestone over this way. Yep. I got rid of all of mine. <laughs> Have you got enough? Yeah, that's enough. Just need enough to make a pick, and then we're good again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and we've got the iron blocks again. <laughs> yep, just said it was nice to be back mining. Didn't say we were any damn good at it. <laughs> That's it, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think how long it is since I came just doing this and, you know, mm -hmm. it was down there. So it's absolutely months because I just had that much cobble in the mm -hmm. hive that I bet I had enough to do whatever I wanted. So thought of several projects to do. Like I said, the automated uh, reed collection, the automated uh, cactus collection. That'll do. Mm -hmm. um, even an automated pumpkin one, I suppose I could do. Uh, and then there's things like put the villagers that have got good trades into the uh, into a market so that they're out of the way and I can trade with those. I don't know whether they come back or not. I think they do. I think, although they'll get a red cross through them at first certain trades, mm -hmm. I think once you've cycled through to the end of their lot, you know, four or five times or whatever, sure. it loops around again. things you'll have to play with. I've never traded with enough of the villagers to ever get to that point. Well, to be honest, I don't think trading is worthwhile in any shape or form because uh, it's different in Feed the Beast because you want the miscraft pages. That's mm -hmm. actually something valuable, but in this you're never going to be getting anything that's worth what you... Mm -hmm. You know, the emeralds are only useful for trading with, so... I just realised and I can hear lava bubbling away. Mm. Hey, my first bit of iron. Yay. <laughs> See, and it ripped me off. That arse melt both of them. That yeah. arse melted itself. So instead of getting eight iron, I got two iron. <laughs> Well, that's not. I'm getting one ingot per piece. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm spoiled, I want my more now. <laughs> You know that page I link you to sometimes, that one with the uh, all the Forge mods on? Um, you know, all the mods that have been updated, uh, the Minecraft mods that have been updated to 1.5. Okay. Um, is the one for Bucket? Uh, is there a page like that for Bucket, you know? Yeah, all you these... go to the, just the, the main Bucket site. Uh, it's dlbucket.org, dl.bucket.org. Sorry. And Bucket is B-U-K-K-I-T, of course. I think some strange British spelling or whatever. And, uh... <clears throat> Bucket and, can hold anything. Yeah. yeah, and you go to the one, What's the, there's one there that's like Explore the Potential, I think, is one of the things in the sign. Unleash the Potential. There yeah. you go. You click on that and it takes you to the uh, page with all the mods. All the plugins. Oh, those are all plugins, are they? Mm-hmm. And they're divided up by, you know, category, administrator. You can search for all and type in what kind of thing you're looking for over there. And it will scan through them and bring up anything that's got that in the name or in the, the main description. Or you can do it by uh, category, like if you know it's an administrative program, like let's say an anti-griefing tool, you can just pull up administration and run it that way, that kind of stuff. Um, I think MCMMO, I think, is under role-playing. I'm glad you brought that up. I've got to look, go through all the plugins tonight and see, because about, I guess about three or four of the plugins I'm running are actual... Uh, Actual um, development plugins are not even beta listed, which yeah. will show you how stable they are. The fact that they actually seem to be running. Indeed. Ancient gates reloaded. Z port vision plugin. So, so you can basically customize it any way you want then. To a certain extent, yeah. I mean, there isn't nearly as many uh, plugins for Bucket as there is for like Forge. So a bucket calls them plug plugins, where Forge just calls them mods. Is mods, that what it is? yeah. And that's very much what it is. Forge is, I mean, you can. Forge is more of a mod loader. You know, um, Forge is a, is Forge would be a uh, be a mod itself. Right. You know, because you actually, for instance, you know, to run a Forge server, it's basically it's a it's a basically a vanilla server that you're running the Forge plugin in, and then all the different plugins that are compatible with Forge. Because you remember how you ran the server before, whenever it would uh, get really laggy and slow and everything. Remember, we were uh, accidentally loading Forge, and yeah. then and then loading uh, the Direwolf pack on top of it, which has Forge on it as well. So Forge is an actual mod. What Bucket is? Bucket is an actual um, server modification. So instead of running the Minecraft server and then running Bucket, you're running a Bucket server. So they've actually rewritten the server, kind of reverse engineered and rewritten the server to, uh, and called it Bucket. Right. And, okay, more torches. Here to torches. Yep, got some. Just need Have them. you seen that latest mod um, from iChon who does the portal uh, gun mod? Uh, the torch bazooka. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's a gun and you basically load it with as many torches as you want. Uh -huh. When you fire it, it fires off and then explodes and scatters torches everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Watch one guy caving with it, you know, and he's just mm -hmm. walking ahead and shooting the darkness in the distance and the, the torches are going up there and scattering out everywhere. Sure. 
A torch spam <laughs> even Minefiend approves of. 